Good day everyone! Today we will discuss all about the preparation of table of a specification or TOS. So what is table of a specification? It is a plan prepared by a classroom teacher as a basis for test construction, especially a summative or periodical test. It provides a test constructor a way to ensure that the assessment is based from the intended learning outcome. So, ang TOS po ay isang plan na inihahanda ng isang guro para siya ay makagawa ng isang effective na test questions or examination. So, ito ay basihan ng isang classroom teacher kung siya ay magkakandak ng kanyang exam. Hindi hindi po basta-basta ang pagkoconstruct ng isang test paper. Kasi po, kailangan tayo ay gumawa ng TOS para po hindi mawawalan ng quality ang ating ginawang test. So, why TOS is important? First, content validity. So, it improves the content valid validity of teachers' constructed tests. The validity means the legitimacy or authenticity of the exam. Next is to identify types and number of items. So, it helps teachers in determining the types and number of items they need to construct. And the last one, it helps the teachers determine whether there is a fair and representative sample of questions appear on the test. We have the forms of TOS. We have here one-way TOS, two-way TOS, and the expanded TOS. When we talk about the one-way TOS, this is the sample. We have or it shows only one element such as the objective or skills on one topic area. So, ito po ang sample ng isang one-way TOS. The next one is the two-way TOS. So, it shows two elements which is the what which refers to subject matter or skills and how which refers to test format. So, nilalagay dito kung ano ang mga test format ninyo. And then, the categories of skills to be developed should be spelled out. So, nandito din yung sa placement of items, yung categories of skills. And the last one, we have the expanded TOS. So, hindi ito masyadong ginagamit na po ngayon. Ang expanded TOS indicate a specific item format to be used in framing the test questions. So, nandito na po objective and skills and then the performance test. So, anong klase ng test format? Okay? So, dahil kailangan nating ilagay sa TOS ang categories or skills to be developed, kailangan nating i-review ang Bloom's Revised Taxonomy. Okay? So, we have here the Bloom's Revised Taxonomy. We have the lower order and the higher order. So, sa lower order, mayroon dito yung remembering, understanding, and applying. While in higher order, we have the analyzing, evaluating, and creating. So, let's start with the level 1 or remembering. Sa remembering, we have to memorize the three R's which are the restating, recalling, and remembering. So, dito na po pumapasok yung enumeration. Sa remembering po, nandyan din ang iba't ibang mga facts or terms and definitions and concepts. Yung mga WH questions like what, when, and where. The, okay, next one is level 2 which is the understanding so sa understanding we have interpret summarize infer classify compare and explain so understanding meaning 
it is the meaning of the material. So, give examples, predict, translate. So, nagre-required po it dito ng comprehension ng ating mga PUP. The next one is the level 3, which is the applying. So, here are the applying. So, we have to memorize this implement, use, and execute. This is also the selecting of concept or skill and urging it to solve a problem. So, ang application ay pwedeng-pwede sa math. Kapag tayo ay magpapakompute, solve, apply, modify, or construct. Okay? Next is the level 4, which is the analyzing. So, in level 4, we have to organize, find, integrate, and Compare. It is also the breaking down the information into its parts and explaining the hierarchical relation. So, i-classify nila or i-categorize yung iba't ibang mga concepts. Okay, next, we have the level 5, which is the evaluating. So, sa evaluating, we have the reflect, criticize, and assess. Okay, but dito kailangan ng maging judgmental ng mga bata. Ano po? Okay. Next one is the level 6 which is the creating. So, in creating, we have this design, construct, make, and produce. So, producing something original after having broken the materials down into its component or parts. Yung itinuro sa kanila ay bibigyan niya ng bagong meaning or new knowledge based sa kanyang natutunan. Okay? Halimbawa, mag uh, gumawa ng slogan about clean community, construct a poem about your family. So, yun lahat ay magpo-fall sa level 6. So, how to make the TOS? Ito po ang mga kailangan para makagawa tayo ng ating TOS. The first one, we have the learning competencies. So, kailangan natin ng most essential learning competencies para masimulan ang ating OS. The next one, the number two, is the number of days. So, review the number of days spent in teaching the whole unit. Number three, weight or percentage. You solve for the percentage of items per objective or topic. So, here is the formula for percentage. We have to compute the number of days taught for the particular objective or topic divided by total number of days taught times 100. So, ito yung example. Example, 2 days po itinuro yung topic na yun. Ididivide nyo sa 20 days kasi kunwara ito yung total number of days na nagturo kayo. Ita times nyo yung answer sa 100. So, nakuha natin ang 10%. Okay? Okay, next one is the number 4, number of items. Kailangan natin i-consider ang number of items sa paggawa ng TOS. So, we have to decide on the number of items to give in a test. Consider the following, the nature of the subject, the grade level, level of thinking skills, and time allotment. Okay? So, kada grade po, mayroon tayong number of items na dapat sundin. So, ito po ang gagamitin formula. So, number of items is equals to total number of items divided by total number of days times number of days the content was taught. Okay? So, example, 20 days yung ay 20 yung total number of items na gusto ninyo. I-divide nyo sa total number of days. Okay? Times 2 equals to 1 item. So, isa lang ang dapat nating ilagay na number of items doon sa specific competency. The next one is the item placement. So, we have here the Bloom's Taxonomy yung kaninang na-review natin. So, we have to decide what item numbers you will assign for questions or items that cover a particular objective in a particular skill or category. 
this is the sample of making your TOS. So we have here your, the competencies, the number of days taught, the placement of items, the percent of the topic, number of items per topic, and the item placement. 